Here is J. Van der Veld, 99. The setup was extremely difficult. The roof was extremely thick. You know, it's the same for everyone. Uh, what they didn't expect is that it was going to, you know, blow 25, 30 miles an hour every single day except on a Sunday. So that, that, that then made it extremely complicated. Tends to move the ball from right to left, it will not bring it back into the reason from his right. Too much so. Get it. Come on, wonderful shot from Johnson. I actually played well, yeah. I really played well the first three rounds. The fourth round, it was uh, a matter of you know, trying to put it together. It's never easy. He's out with a driver. The thought process was pretty simple. I knew I could miss a fairway even with an iron, uh, just because of the of, of the wind condition. So therefore, I thought, you know, if I hit driver, at least I'm going to be 60 yards closer to the green in my with my second shot. And if I get get away with half a half a lie, maybe I, I hit it within you know within 20, 30 yards of the green, or, or even to the front edge. And from there, I'm, I'm more likely to make up and down than I am to hit a 150 yard shot, uh, having to hit it in the air again. And, and you know, leave it to, to the gods of the wind there. He's going to be at least three shots ahead. I thought, you know, try, try to hit it somewhere, either on the grass or even in, the, on, on, in one of the bunkers. I, I needed to find the grass. Find somewhere dry and, and you'll be fine. Well, obviously, you know, I was very fine, but I was on the right hand side with a different angle. That's why I decided to go for the green. I was coming from the right hand side on the fairway that was perpendicular to me with the wind into and, and you know, uh, the, the fairway was pretty, pretty tight. I mean, it hit the stand, it goes into the burn, it hits, uh, you know, the steps going down in the burn and comes back another 40 yards. So it buries itself into the, into the grass. Yeah. yeah. It was very high. It was like this. Yeah, it was very high, very patchy. You know, the grass was laying down this way, the ball came back that way. So it was a pretty, uh, pretty ugly line. And uh, I was maybe a little further right, I was somewhere around there. And the rest is history. The real mistake is there is on the third shot. I, I tried to go forward, there's only one thing you need to avoid, is put it in the water. I thought about hitting it sideways. But again, the line was so bad, I said, well, you have, you're not guaranteed to hit it on the fairway, to keep it on the fairway. And therefore, from wherever I was, even in the rough, I could have hit it on the green. So if there was one shot to play again, that would be the third one. When I got into the burn, you know, three quarters of the ball was outside the water. I didn't, you know, expect the tide to go up. And you can see the, the, the ocean is, what, 70 meters away. And, and the burn is linked to that ocean. So whenever the tide goes up, this is why the wall is so high, you can see. And within five minutes, ten minutes, uh, the ball was completely submerged. So I, I couldn't really hit it out of there. There's no way. I think it was a good up and down, especially considering that my playing partner, Craig Parry, was you know three feet ahead of me, and, and he said, "Listen, I'm going to get out of your way because I would have been there. I would have covered his ball with sand." And he said, "I get out of your way like this, you, you know, you have more time as well to recuperate from what happened." And and so he hits a bunker shots and he holds it. He actually hit the shot I need to hit to win the to win the Open Championship. So I remember smiling and going like, "Really? Is that is that, is that it for the day? Because how much more are you going to throw at me?" So I made yeah, I made a pretty decent bunker shot. Not the best I could do. I, I feel like I didn't carry it far enough, you know. So I hit the the shoulder of that bunker and released a little left. Uh, uh, because of that slope, and yeah, I was about seven feet away. I, I hit a, a very, very good putt there. Won't you believe it? Oh. Oh. <laughs> well done. You know, I always be very at peace with what happened. Uh, it shook me, no doubt about it. You know, uh, the, the the two three days that were following '99, I, I was a bit distraught. Why? Because again. You know, you play to win, you play to, to have the cup. I had it in my hands and it, and it slipped away. But at the end of the day, you, you look around you and, and, you know, you realize you're one of the lucky guys to walk inside the ropes. Uh, 
you make, uh, if, if you're lucky enough, you, you make a very healthy living doing what you love. Not many people have that luxury. So I always felt very privileged and therefore, you know, I have no right to complain at all.